السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا نبي ما علمتنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين. تذكرت هند بنت عتبة هند بنت عتبة uh, رضي الله عنها. she had several titles. the first one is the eater of the livers and the second one is a hero in pre-Islamic era and during Islam. So who is Hind bin Tu'utba? Who is this female companion? So Hind bin Tu'utba is the wife of Abu Sufyan and the daughter of Utba bin Rabi'a, the Qurashi prominent leader. She was a noble person. Her family are leaders. She was a leader. Her life can be divided into three uh, stages. The first one in the pre-Islamic era, she was the wife of Fakih. In the second uh, stage, she was with her second husband, Abu Sufyan, the leader of the non-believers in Mecca. And the th third stage of her life was her life uh, at the time when she embraced Islam. And when she pledged uh, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and later on, she, uh, she was the mother of the first Khalifa, the first Caliph of Muslims, after the uh, four Rashidi Caliphs to be of the Umawis uh, uh, leaders. So she was the mother of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, the first caliph leader after the Rashidi leaders, after the Rashidi caliphs, who were Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, and Sayyidina Ali. So let's talk about the stages of her life. The first one is when she was a wife to Fatih, one day, he uh, doubted that uh, she was not honest with him. And uh, that happened when uh, uh, he came back to his home. And his home was um, a place where anyone can come in. Anyone can come in without a permission. They were so generous. So they were very good hosts. And one day, when uh, she was in uh, her house, in this uh, uh, in this house, she she uh, uh, sat down to get some rest, and uh, her husband Fake went out for some some stuff to do some stuff, and was very uh, tired, so she slept, and. Uh, some people arrived at the, at the house just to come in as usual, no permission needed. And when, when they saw her sleeping, they went back. The last one of them was, uh, was uh, someone who came out. But when he came out, Fake, her husband, was coming and he saw this man going out. So he got into the house 
he he found Hind in a deep sleep, uh, sleep and he kicked her and he asked her about that man who went out from the house. And she said, I didn't see anyone. I didn't, uh, I, I, I didn't pay attention. I was sleeping. How would I see him? So her husband got so mad and he, he uh, uh, asked her to leave to her mom's home. Uh, 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 there were a lot of rumors about her and her father at that time decided to go to uh, a fortune teller and to tell them to tell uh, to tell them what happened, and so he uh, he would uh, uh, give him the truth. And when uh, the that fortune teller saw uh, Hind bin Tertba, so Hind uh, sitting with one of the ladies, he came to her and he said, come, get up, you are not uh, a bad person and you will give birth to, the, to, to a king and his name would be Muawiyah. So when her husband heard that, he apologized and he wanted uh, her to forgive him. But uh, of course, he asked her to come back to his home. But she said very proud, proudly, she said, no, I will never have that, that child from you. You don't deserve to be the father of, of the king. And she, she divorced him. She looked at her father and she said, I am a free woman. If someone wants to uh, uh, propose, you tell me before you give your word. She was very strong. And he said to her, I accept. So many suitors come to uh, propose from everywhere. Everywhere they came to, uh, uh, to propose to Hint. They knew how um, uh, eloquent she was, how uh, beautiful, how honorable. So they wanted to get married to her. Until Abu Sufyan proposed and she accepted him uh, as per the uh, description that her father has given her. And she accepted him as her husband. And she moved to his house to start a political life. He was the leader of Mecca, the leader of the non-believers. So uh, this was the first, uh, the first and the second stage of uh, her life. Now, uh, all her life, uh, she was always known and she always kept very hostile. She was very hostile for Muslims uh, from the very first days of Islam. And that hostility doubled after the Battle of Badr. You know why? Because in the Battle of Badr, uh, her father, Atba ibn uh, Rabia, her uncle Shayba, and her son Hanzala, and her brother Al-Walid were all killed in that battle. So such are the, the dearest relatives to her who were all chiefs in Quraysh. And this matter actually left her heart full of hatred. And the rancor continued from, that, from the day of Badr until the day of opening Mecca. So what happened later? 
in Uhud, Hind went out with the army of Quraysh, promoting them. She, she was doing her utmost to eradicate Muslims. And when her army fled away from Muslims at the beginning of the battle, she began pouring dust upon them, promoting them to continue fighting. She wanted them to fight. She doesn't want, she didn't want them to, to run away. So on that day, she did not flee like the men did. And at the end of the battle, when the non-believers won Muslims, Hind, com Hind committed a very disgusting act. And you all know that. She began maiming the crops of Muslims one by one. She was cutting ears. She was cutting noses. And when she approached Hamza ibn, Abi Talib, ibn, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, she, what did she do? And uh, we all know that her servant, Wahshi, killed, killed uh, Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu an. So what did she do upon seeing his, his body? She split open his interiors and she pulled out his liver and uh, out of hatred, she chewed it, but she, she spit it out as it tasted unpleasant to her. Of course, she... Uh, she was a non-believer, and uh, her uh, the the uh, uh, liver of the uh, amazing Hamza radiyallahu an would not be in her body. So this attitude of uh, of Ham uh, of uh, Hind affected the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam too much and left him distressed. And in respect, to, uh, in, this, in this respect, uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet stood at Hamza's body upon seeing his body. And Abu Huraira said, we noticed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was too depressed that we never saw him like this before. And the Prophet said, may Allah be merciful with you, my uncle. Indeed, you were, a, you were maintainer to the ties of kinship and always doing the good. Hamza radiallahu anhu was an amazing support to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So now, Imagine how angry the Prophet ﷺ was with Hind. So this was her, what she did during Uhud. Another incident about Hind was when uh, she went out with the non-believers, with the non-believers in al Ahzab battle, and she continued confronting Islam shortly before the opening uh, of Mecca. Even she refused her husband's attitude when he asked the people of Mecca to enter their homes seeking the protection from Sayyidina Muhammad she asked, she asked them to kill him. And it's very... Yeah, it's, it's very uh, bad, the history of Hind uh, with Muslims. She was, she was a very bad person to Muslims. And she would always encourage the chiefs of Mecca to, to be bad to the Muslims. So after this long course uh, of conf uh, confrontation of the Islamic call, the Prophet وسلم, what happened? He opened Mecca. And thus, the people came from everywhere accepting Islam. 
So Hind bin Jatba, what happened to her? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would want to guide her. So why she came to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and there were some women also who wanted to become Muslims. So she was completely veiled and not identified wishing, uh, she didn't identify her, uh, her, uh, uh, herself. She wanted to be a Muslim. So, uh, the, the rules and the homage of Muslim, uh, of women was, to abstain uh, when they will become, uh, of course, uh, Muslims, was, was to abstain from politism, theft, fornication, killing their children, not uttering slander, and also uh, intentionally forging falsehood that was uh that was any uh, uh, not acceptable that was uh, something forbidden and uh as i said intentionally forging falsehood and that that would happen by making illegal children belonging to their husbands so that was forbidden and also the law, uh, what was forbidden also was disobeying the Prophet in what's, uh, what's right. So disobeying Sayyidina Muhammad Now, anyone uh, contemplating on the uh, incidents of Hind, what she did, her hostility to the Muslims, so anyone contemplating on that would clearly be convinced that she's coming only seeking protection from being killed. Everybody knew, everybody knew how bad she was to Muslim, how the, the uh, worst hostility she had to Muslims. So, Anyone would think that she is coming not to become a true Muslim, but to protect herself from being killed. But, however, uh, what wasn't expected, the attitude of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, what was the attitude? Now, women started to pledge Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that conduct was conducted as follows. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Tubayyibani ala an la tushrikna billahi shay'a. A woman pledged not to ascribe partners to Allah, Azza wa Jal. And Hind completely veiled and uh, the Prophet had not I, uh, identified her uh, 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 that time uh, still. So he, uh, uh, she said, Wallahi innaka la ta'khuzu alayna amran ma ta'khuzu ala rijal. By Allah, we, uh, you, are, you ask women for things different from men. And hint by this, when, when she said that, she... she she meant that the pledge of men was abridged, but the pledge of women is detailed. So the Prophet ﷺ went on, did not comment, and he said, uh, And do not steal. Here, Hind stood up and she said, Ya Rasulullah. إن أبا سفيان رجل مسيك فهل علي, علي من حرج أن أصيب من طعامه من غير إذنه؟ Oh, Messenger of Allah, my husband, Abu Sufyan, uh, is very stingy man. 
that he does not supply me and his children the sufficient provision. So am I, am I sinful if I took from his wealth a sufficient provision, uh, informing him not, uh, and, and I do not tell him? Would I be sinful? But what happened? At that moment, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to her, is that you, Hind bin Utbah? And she replied, yes, it's me. Hind, forgive me. Forgive me, Ya Rasulullah. So the Prophet gave her permission to take only the sufficient provision of dates. Imagine the sufficient provision of dates for her and her children without telling her husband. So imagine this crucial moment in the life of Hind. What's your opinion? What is the prophet going to act? How, how is he going to act? What's he going to do? Bearing in mind who Hind was towards Muslim and her uh, mutilation of his uncle. So what do you think he's going to do? When she said, Ya Rasulullah, forgive me. So the Prophet وسلم, pardoned her and gave her no, no word reflecting his sadness. But rather, he simply accepted his error Islam. So Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued. And he said, Wala tazneen. So women do not commit fornication. And Hind stopped here and she continued wondering, Wal tazneen hurratu ya Rasulullah? O Messenger of Allah, does the good woman of honor commit fornication? Again, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continued without commenting. وَلَا تَقْتُلْنَ أَوْلَادَكُنْ And do not kill your children. Now here, look at what Hind did. Hind once again interrupted Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ قَدْ رَبَّيْنَاهُمْ صِغَارًا وَقَتَلْتَهُمْ يَوْمَ بَدْرٍ كِبَارًا O oh, Messenger of Allah, we raised them when children, and you killed them when adults. You killed them in, um, in better. Have you left behind any man of ours save be killed by you? You have killed their fathers on the day of better. And, you inst and instructing us now concerning their children right now? So... What do you think happened? The Prophet وسلم, did not become angry with Hind. Neither did he say, why we killed them on the day of Bidr? Have not we, have not uh, the, uh, they, the, the, were not they polytheists? Your father, your son, your brother, your uncle? confronted us on the day or night during uh, uh, they wanted us to turn away from Islam? Haven't they persecuted uh, and tortured Muslims? Haven't they done so and so? No. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa did not do that. He did not say, he did not become angry with Hind. And the Prophet has not, did not say anything and his reaction was astonishing he smiled he just smiled and he commented with the words he did not give any words so the prophet acted simply and appreciated the question of hint and how difficult islam is for her who she was and who she is, how she is changing, how she is leaving everything behind. Then the Prophet continued, وَلَا تَأْتِينَ بِبُهْدَانٍ تَفْتَرِينَهُ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيكُنَّ وَأَرْجُلِكَ 